Hi everyone, Chris Natsky here with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week live on Facebook. You know, to say 2020 has been an unusual and challenging year is certainly an understatement. And for most of us, that means that our holiday season is going to be probably a little bit different as well. You know, usually we're used to the hustle and bustle and parties and family gatherings and things like that. And, you know, for many of us, um, that's not going to happen this year particularly as we're looking to really stay and keep everyone safe. And so that means even if we are connecting with our families and those closest to us, it may be in smaller groups than usual, or it might just be virtually. So it got me thinking about, you know, we put so much emphasis on gift giving during this holiday season, but what are some gifts that we can not only give others, but also give ourselves that you can't really buy on Amazon or anywhere else for that matter? What are some gifts that we can really give from the heart? We're really contributing not only to others, but also to ourselves. So I've got five gifts that I want to share with you that I'm going to be focusing on during this holiday season. Number one is to connect. And when I say connected, it really comes along with the idea of slowing down. First, getting connected with ourselves, you know, getting our minds quiet enough so we can hear that still small voice and connect with that part of us that always knows what the right choices are. And from that place of presence, then, we can be much more present with others. You know, so much of our relationships aren't based on the gifts that we give that are physical, but it's about being really present with the people that we love. So where do you have an opportunity to really connect this holiday season? Number two is to create. You know, gifts are not bad. Physical gifts are great. Uh, and particularly when I was a kid, I used to love to get those. But what I also have learned as I've grown older, is that uh, most of the things that I remember the most and that I value the most are not the physical things I got, but the memories I created with those that are closest to me, those that I love the most. And so what does that mean? Are there, are there things you can do out in nature, sledding, skating, of course, you know, uh, socially distancing where appropriate, but where can you create some memories with those that you love? Number three is to contribute. And this kind of goes along with number two, but there are so many people that are hurting right now. And where could you, not only individually, but also with your friends and or your family, go out and contribute? Maybe work at some place that, like a food bank. Maybe, um, you know, help a, a neighbor in terms of uh, helping them with chores around the house. Or, or maybe, or maybe, you know, even just connect with someone virtually. You never know how much our small acts can really make a difference and contribute to others. So where do you have an opportunity this holiday season to really contribute? Number four is contemplate. And this is one really that I encourage all of us to do and something, a practice that I generally do between, you know, the week between Christmas and New Year's. And that's when I take a look at my last year. And the first thing I do is I ask myself, what went well? What were my victories? And I actually write those down. Sometimes we're not even aware of all the good things that happened to us because we're constantly focused on day to day. But where were, where were your victories during the year? Number two is ask yourself where you fell short. Where were some of your disappointments? And then from those two experiences, the third question is, what did you learn from that? There might be some great nuggets, even when you had some difficulties or failures over the last year. And then finally, what are you going to do with all this knowledge now to really um, make this next year more productive and more uh, connecting and more exciting for you than it's ever been before? You know, when I go through this process, I'm always blown away because even when I've had what I've considered challenging years, like 2020 has been, when I look back and I take a look at all of the things that I've had in terms of victories and blessings in my life, I usually find out I had a pretty good year. So where do you have an opportunity to do that? And then finally, is to commit, is to commit. Now, generally speaking, this time of year is when we get together and we do our New Year's resolutions and we, we commit to these great things that we want to accomplish. And that's all well and good. And I think that's an important process. But I also know, not only in my own life, but also in the people that I, that, uh, that I serve, that are clients of mine, is sometimes we create these grandiose goals and they end up being something we put on a piece of paper and then we just shove it in a desk drawer and we don't look at it until the next year when we create our goals for the upcoming year. So what I challenge you to do is create really small things that you want to accomplish. And one of the things I always love to do is to create a way of being 
or a word that I want to focus on over the next year. So for instance, it might be that I want to focus on being patient or proactive or being present. And that becomes a small focus of each and every day. And when I do that and when we do that, what happens is we begin to build momentum. And pretty soon at the end of the year, we see some tremendous changes in our lives. So anyway, there's my five gifts to give to others as well as ourselves this holiday season. And I strongly recommend you, you give those a whirl. You know, and you might have some other variations of that, but take some time this, this holiday season to connect with yourself and others, to create some memories, to contribute, to help some people out, to contemplate what happened in this last year and what you want to do going forward, and then finally commit to the champion you want to be in the next year ahead. So there you have it, my friends. I, I hope you got some value from this. Hope you got some value from all of my messages of the week this past year. And as always, if you've enjoyed them, please comment, like them, and share them. And I hope you have a blessed holiday season in whatever form that is for you um, this year. And I look forward to connecting again with you in the upcoming year. So this has been Chris Natsky from Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching. And we will see you next time on the Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week.